Hi, welcome back to the weekly M1 Finance Fire Bridge account review. So the overall balance on the account is $24,374.89. We are down massively in this account. We're down $6,105. And 49 cents or 28.64 percent let's look at how we did for the week we are down for the week we're down 3.48 percent or 868 dollars and 31 cents it pains me to <laughs> say those numbers if we look at where we started for the week, we started at a balance of $24,531.54. We had deposits of $753.94, but the market loss of $910.59 ate up all of our deposits and more. This is why we ended the week at twenty-four thousand three hundred and seventy four dollars and eighty nine cents let's look at my holding so shd was down 2.42 percent or 235 dollars and 87 cents vgt was down 3.51 percent or 239 dollars and 43 cent reality income down 5.39 percent very surprised by this high percentage um, or $338.26 and then VTI down 2.60% or $54.75 so all all red <laughs> across all of the accounts so let's just go ahead and look at the deposits for the week so for this week, a couple things happened. I had some dividends and then I actually had cash deposits that I put into this account. So let's start with the dividend payout on September 20, September 26 from SCHD. Um, that amount was $86.86. .86. This is the quarterly dividend payout. And then on September 26, I deposited $100 in the account. So I had two buys out of the $100 that I contributed and also two buys out of the dividend payout from SCHD. So let's start with the two buys from the $100 I deposited. $7.15 of that went to Realty Income. So I got 0.11 shares and then the balance went to SCHD. That's $92.84 and I got 1.36 shares. If we look at the buys from the dividend payout, $58.87 went to Realty Income, and I got 0.96 shares, and then the balance went to SCHD, $27.99, and I got 0.41 shares. Then on September 28th, I received um, a dividend payout from VGT of $9.09. .09. This is the quarterly dividend payout, so it's a minimal amount. And from there, um, yes, this is the, the payout, VTI, sorry, not VGT. And then I deposited 550 eight dollars into the account on september 29th so if you combine these two numbers that gives you 567 dollars and nine cents so the dividend and the deposit that i made all traded together and did um, two buys so for realty income 298 dollars and 11 cents went there and i got 5.02 shares and then the balance went to SCHD in the amount of $268.98, and I got 3.98 shares. So it's good to see that like these deposits are buying more and more share amount because of just the, the decline in the market. But 
I'm just waiting to see the actual gain. So I am due some additional dividend payout from VGT and Realty Income. So I need to follow up with M1 Finance on that. I think they've been having some technical issues because those dividends haven't been paid out yet. And I think they should have already been paid out as well as they had marked in the system an extra dividend payment to me but I actually never received that money so I've been working with them for weeks trying to get this resolved it still has not been resolved so the M1 I'm getting a little bit concerned about the M1 finance platform and maybe if I should be pivoting and transferring my account to something else some more to come so let me know if you've been experiencing any technical or issues with M1 finance um, with just balances being wrong, dividend amounts being wrong, is dividends not hitting your account when they're supposed to, um, to see if it's maybe just me or if there's like a bigger issue happening here. And then just the last piece, just look at the upcoming trades for the week. I am depositing $121 um, next week and... That's going to do two buys, $68 is going to go towards Realty Income, and $52 will go towards SCHD. All right, that is the latest and greatest with the M1 account. We're down, we're down, we're down. <laughs> but we're going to stay in this, we're going to keep investing, and yes, that's the path we're going to take. I'll talk to you next.